Hello and thanks for joining us. Welcome to Newsmax Health. Right now we're talking with board certified neurosurgeon, author and editor of the Blaylock Wellness Report, Dr. Russell Blaylock. Dr. Blaylock, we want to discuss a very frightening disease and an issue that I know is very personal for you. Both of your parents died from complications associated with Parkinson's disease and a recent study found that the incidence of Parkinson's and other neurodegenerative diseases are on the rise. And even scarier, the victims are being diagnosed at ages younger than previously seen, sometimes in their 20s and 30s. So Dr. Blaylock, let's talk about your special report, Parkinson's disease, you can fight back. You talk about something called excitotoxicity. What is it and what role does it play in Parkinson's disease? Well, uh, glutamate is the number one neurotransmitter in the brain. That's how brain cells communicate to each other. Uh, excess glutamate, and it doesn't take a lot of excess, but excess glutamate in the brain produces overactivity of these nerve cells and will destroy them. It'll destroy the connections, it'll destroy the cells itself. This overexcitation we call excitotoxicity. Uh, it's intimately linked also to inflammation, so I've coined a new term in uh, immunoexcitotoxicity because they always occur together. Uh, the brain is inflamed, the brain is undergoing a excitotoxic <laughs> reaction. And that's what happens in every neurodegenerative disease, whether it's Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or Lou Gehrig's disease. All of them, we see this same central process. Well, in your report, you also discuss a hidden secret about vaccines. Tell us more about this frightening finding especially as it relates to pregnant women? Well, what we know is when you vaccinate somebody, you're, you're dramatically increasing the uh, inflammation in their body. And this triggers activation of inflammatory cells in the brain, special uh, uh, type of innate immunity in the brain called microglia. And that when these microglia become chronically activated, it starts degenerating these connections in the brain and starts destroying certain cells that can lead to diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and Lou Gehrig disease. For instance, in soldiers uh, that got the anthrax vaccine uh, and 17 other vaccines uh, very quickly, there was a 200% increase in, in this Lou Gehrig disease, ALS. So we know there's this intimate connection between overstimulating uh, the immune system with vaccination and destruction of brain. Now, when you preg uh, vaccinate pregnant women, what happens is it alters the formation of the brain. And we find that if you stimulate immunity during pregnancy, there's a high incidence of schizophrenia and autism later in the child's life after birth. Well, and like so many things, diet also plays an important role here. Talk about some foods that can help Parkinson's patients. If you're eating foods that are high in glutamate that are pro-inflammatory, uh, that worsens the disease and is more likely to bring on the disease. The most powerful connection with Parkinson's disease is exposure to pesticides and herbicides and fungicides, uh, particularly rotenone, which is very commonly used in these pesticides. Uh, in animals, it will produce classic Parkinson's disease, and we think that in humans, because of exposure, it's a leading cause of Parkinson's disease. Uh, so these environmental exposures are very common. Now, if you Reduce your intake of glutamate food additives like MSG, hydrolyzed protein, soy uh, protein, and soy type foods. You reduce this uh, process going on in the brain and you reduce brain inflammation. If you increase your omega 3 type fats uh, intake, like DHA, that dramatically reduces brain inflammation. Uh, intake of your, your magnesium, increase intake of magnesium dramatically reduces brain inflammation and helps block microglial activation and the excitotoxicity. A number of uh, flavonoids in vegetables uh, reduce brain inflammation, reduce microglial activation, and reduce uh, excitotoxicity. So in combination, changing your diet to the proper diet can have a profound influence on the development of this terrible disease. Now, Doctor, I know that everyone concerned about Parkinson's can benefit from information like that. You also have detailed examples of proven strategies for preventing risk factors known to lead to Parkinson's. And because millions of people are suffering this debilitating epidemic, we're going to give today's viewers a free copy of Dr. Blaylock's special report, Parkinson's Disease, You Can Fight Back. We'll also show you how you can claim your free copy in just a second. But first, I want to highlight more of the important information you can benefit from in this special report. 
You'll find specifics on what causes Parkinson's and what you can do to prevent it. Dr. Blaylock also talks about some key supplements that may help you stave off Parkinson's altogether. So to unlock all this vital information and much more, just click on the orange button below this presentation to claim your free copy of Dr. Blaylock's special report, Parkinson's Disease, You Can Fight Back. But I must tell you, we only have a few copies left, and when they are gone, they are gone. So don't wait to claim your free copy now.